welcome to you all as our coverage of the opening fixture of the International Champions Cup gets underway. It is a slightly new concept for some of you, but it is a special invitation event held both stateside and in Asia, as it has been since 2013. Interest in the competition has been phenomenal. It has drawn in crowds of over 100,000, which signal again that football is indeed a worldwide sport. It presents a rare opportunity for fans who cannot travel to watch their clubs or their favourite players to see them right on their own doorstep. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, there is a party atmosphere here, a very, very good turnout. Yeah, I totally agree, Peter. It's a, a cracking event when it comes to feel-good factor, but it's also a lucrative opportunity to promote a brand in this part of the world to back up the good work they've already done here. I think both clubs know that at the end of this, each will have left the right impression. Away. Zanetti. Zanetti. Great run on the overlap here. Deflected behind for a corner kick. They've played it short. Danger averted for now. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Field. Tinged one through here. Gets the better of his man. And the shot! Goal! Set it to Petersburg! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fill that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Then it's St. Petersburg, go ahead, one goal to the good. Tries to get it forward quickly, whipped in, and he's cut it out. Drives it towards the front. Well, of course, this is the first really big game of pre-season, and so, Jim, the manager's actions and his yeah. statements, his tactics, his thoughts... Well, it just goes to show you, Peter, the level of expectation and interest. Scrutiny. Yeah. Shoots! And yes, it's there! Inter are back in business! Inter are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose for... Adriano! Goal! Inter! And the game is 
well and truly turned on its head. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Into Milan, go into the lead. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Milito, he's left his man. He's gone for it. Really well taken goal. And they're at it again in double quick time. And looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So the lead now is two. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Cambiasso. Diego Milito plays it out to the wing. The free's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, Peter, I think the score is a fair reflection of what we've witnessed so far, and that being good movement in, in both midfield and indeed up front. If those players, I think, can carry on where they left off after the break, they should impose themselves even more, and probably only one result coming here. Well, that has been a goal-blessed half. It is 3-1. Start of the second half. Changes made by neither side, from what we understand. Now it's Milito. Zanetti. Zanetti. And that has been clubbed away. Adriano. He's had a goal! Inter produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. So now the difference is three. Now it's Milito. Zanetti. Forward it goes. Beautifully done. And it's Zanetti. Diego Milito collects the ball from behind. Tries a shot! Outstanding save to keep that out. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Inter Milan can make their change now with uh, a break in play. It's one! It's there! Comfort! Yet more comfort! Easing away! Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Into Milan, tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Zanetti. Zanetti goes looking. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Of a goal. A 
contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. It's become a case of men against boys. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Hoists it forward. And here's Melito. Zanetti. Up he gets! He scored! And still they continue with the onslaught. Yeah, by the looks of it, there may be still more to come. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Into Milan are oh, making a change now. Got amongst the goals here, and now he takes his leave. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And you know, if that's the case, then you know he's doing the right thing. No doubt as to who has the momentum. He... And that's it. Into Milan, winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind made it happen and won your reflections then Jim Inter had a very simple tactic to implement Peter and they exposed their opposition with expansive incision Well, it is day two of the International Champions Cup. The fans getting another chance to see some of their favourite clubs from Europe and beyond. A real party atmosphere, dare I say it, a carnival of an atmosphere. Further evidence of the increasing popularity of the beautiful game in countries where previously it wasn't thought possible. The clubs really are putting in a, a massive effort too with fan interaction, a big theme in the time between matches. And the players, I'm glad to report, seem thoroughly to be enjoying their newfound widespread fame as well. So what a stage for the players. Great leap! Marvellous goal! 
It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Inter are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal plans. Inter Milan have an early lead. Good start. Samuel drives it forward. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? And it's Milito. Tries to stroke it through. Oh, that's a fine challenge. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And now they can launch a counter. Battles to win it back. Cambiasso. Now it's Milito. Forward it goes. I'm getting close now. Inter Milan scored early, of course, and it's 1 0. And the half time whistle goes. And here we are, off they go for half time. The victory did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Inter Milan come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Already up and running for the second half. Well, one nil may be good at that. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. So here he is, making his first appearance in new colours. Samuel gets it back. Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. And Milito! And somehow it stayed out. Lyon have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. Oh, shooting chance! Right there! Lyon are level! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take the risk, as cunning as it comes. Lyon grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here? Uh, I doubt this will be the final score, though. Memphis Depay pushes to get on the end of it. Rakoba. And here's Melito. Vardy gets it out to the wing. Inter showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Lyon merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot. Has a goal! A 
Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. They're playing as if time is on their side when it's it's fast running out. They've got to quicken this up. Memphis Depay desperately wants to get on the end of this. He's found his man. He's and the shots. Jamie Vardy is Harry a party, and that may just do it. Inter. And there goes the final whistle. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely too. Well, hello and welcome to our coverage of the final day of the International Champions Cup, an event which has seen clubs invited here from right around the globe. This may have only been a short tournament, but it is one that has certainly left its mark here for all the right reasons. The games have been very largely watchable, more than decent, played in a very good spirit, and everybody who has taken part deserves great credit for bringing the game to a new market. Turnout has been fantastic throughout the event, and it is certainly the case here today as well. Let us hope that it all ends just as well. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So then the final opportunity for these distant fans to see their heroes. Well, a lot of teams are about to wrap up their pre-season with the conclusion of this game, and they'll have... Has a hit! Goal! Inter! And Inter go in front! Oh, that was such a smart exchange of passes, and it took so many defenders out of play in one quick movement. Wonderful goal. Inter Milan take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. 
Parejo. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move. And that will be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. It still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. How would you review the first half? A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Inter Milan come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so has a pop! Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and this team. Gets away from his opponents. Now it's Silva. He'll hit it. No, oh, he's missed it. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way in front. Plays it out to the wing. Adriano. Shot a goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. I think he still deserves full marks for making his way through. It was a, it was a crack and run. Sambal. Pinged forward. It's a long ball, and it's not hit its target. Milly going for goal! Oh, and that should have been two. Milito really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. Now it's Tevez. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation. And it needs to be any time now, really. And here's Milito. Tries to think towering header. That may well be that, that is that.